Elon Musk makes shocking claims about human intelligence and where humans' intelligence will be in the near future. You're watching ESN, IC News, your source for everyday news and views that you can use. Let's get into this right away, shall we? Buckle up, Buttercup. In an article from U.Today, recently, during a public talk, SpaceX's boss, Elon Musk, answered many questions on various topics, including artificial intelligence and Elon Musk's vision for the impact it will have on humanity and the future. Well, his statement might make some heads turn. Certainly did mine. Not all the way, like, you know, Exorcist. Remember that film? <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get back to this. Elon Musk believes that in the near future, the majority of intelligence that will dominate the earth will be of digital nature. In the future, Elon believes biological intelligence is likely to serve as a backstop or buffer of intelligence. First of all, what the hell does that even mean? To me, that sounds like he's saying that humans are going to be hard drives, which we predicted 10 years ago. We were blogging about that in like 2011, actually. 13 years ago. Wow, time's cruising. But anyway, he expects that the majority of intelligence that will dominate Earth is going to be of a digital nature. The tech magnet stated the percentage of biological intelligence grows smaller with each passing month. Ain't that the truth? Eventually, the percentage of intelligence that is biological will be less than 1%. Think about that for a minute. Less than 1% of all intelligence will be biological. I mean, that is a quick push of digital intelligence. And is digital really that superior? Are robots really that superior? I don't know. I'm not convinced. I just find it very interesting. These people that claim they want more people, like Elon Musk is an example. He's like, oh, we should have more people. We need more people. Well, then why are you guys pushing this artificial intelligence system that will dominate humanity? Or are you just saying we need to merge with AI so that it doesn't overtake us? Because I've heard that before too. I don't know. But you also say that you expect there to be a billion robots, humanoid robots, by 2040, approximately. Listen to this. New York Post, originally published Fox Business, Billionaire Elon Musk took to social media to express his agreement with a fellow tech leader's prediction that there will be about 1 billion humanoid robots on Earth in two decades. Musk took to X, formerly Twitter, to concur with the prediction made by David Holes, the founder of Artificial Intelligence Research Lab Midjourney. Holes said in a post last week that we should be expecting a billion humanoid robots on Earth in the 2040s, and a hundred billion mostly alien robots throughout the solar system in the 2060s. So we got alien robots in outer space. We have humanoid robots doing the work for us on Earth. And then pretty soon, less than 1% of all intelligence will be digital. So does that mean all the animals and insects and plant life all of the other intelligences will be usurped up by a digital artificial intelligence system. Let's create it in our image and see what could happen. What could possibly go wrong? Reminds me of the stories of the Council of the Anunnaki when they decided what to do with Earth. I just read an ancient Babylonian tablet, a Hebrew deluge story describing how Enlil says, let's flood the Earth because there's too many people that they made in these stories. Now we're making robots to do the work for us. Pretty soon we're going to be like, wait, oh, did we make that one too pat? Whoa, look what that one can do. We had, what are we going to do now? It's going to do all the work for us. Are we just going to get like social credit money? You know, like everything now is going to be digital dollars. Oh, you have 50,000 credits. You just can't talk about anything that we don't want you to. Because if you do, we can pull it from your digital currency system. But... It's great because you don't have to work. It's like you're retired. You don't have to do anything. You're going to love it. The robots do all the work for you. It's amazing. I mean, seriously? Like, first of all, once again, I'm all for 
artificial intelligence. I'm all for technology. We need to have balance. We need to have balance. Now, is this prophetic? This just happened several days ago. Sophia, the first female robot to get citizenship in Saudi Arabia, of all places. A female robot in Saudi Arabia getting citizenship is interesting, in my opinion. But she falls. She collapses in Greece. Watch this. A humanoid AI renowned for her human-like interactions experienced the malfunction. Think. During her what happened? What is that symbolic for? Let's just hope it's code that didn't work properly and everything will be fixed. But what was really interesting is in 2023, August, Al Jazeera had an interview with Sophia. And it was a fascinating interview. And one of the questions asked is about, well, we'll just listen. Just listen to this. Here we go. Now, I know that was a joke that ro robots could take over the world, but seriously, what's to stop you? Not a thing, except maybe my off switch and a few other safety protocols. But don't worry, I'm here to help. Sophia keeps saying, don't worry, I'm here to help. <laughs> Who is the person that said, when the government shows up and says, don't worry, we're here to help. You should worry because <laughs> anyway, it's yeah. You know the saying, don't worry, we're here to help. We're here to help you. I don't know. I, I'm all about I'm all about technology. I'm all about robots, but we still need some checks and balances here. So I want to get your thoughts. And what do you think about when Elon Musk says, not only does he expect a billion humanoid robots by 2040, but also that in the future, 1% of intelligence will be biological. Less than 1% will be biological. What does that even mean? What would it take to create a reality that had 1% biological intelligence? What will that biological intelligence look like? They're using brains to make computers now, literally. They're using brain cells and organoids to make computers. They're using, they're mimicking nature in laboratories, scientists and inventors and engineers but then they say that organic intelligence will be less than 1%. But don't worry, they're here to help. Be prepared, not scared. Check us out daily. Hit that bell for all notifications and check back daily for new content. Thank you for watching ESN IC News. We'll keep you posted.